What's up my fellow pet business owners? If you've been wondering about how to automate some of the tasks in your pet business, this is going to be the video for you. If you've been living under a rock for the last couple of weeks, you may not know that Time to Pet finally released an integration to be able to connect their software to Zapier. This is something that I am really excited about. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use Zapier. Uh, if you don't know, Zapier is an automation tool that basically connects different softwares that otherwise would not be connected. And uh, I've used Zap Zapier for years uh, to do a myriad of different things within my business. For example, I have it connecting the new client onboarding form on our website to MailChimp. That way, when new clients sign up for our services, they are automatically added to our email newsletter. I also have our Google Business Profile connected to a spreadsheet via Zapier. That way, anytime we get a new review, it is automatically put onto this spreadsheet. And you guys know how much I love Time to Pet. I mean, I talk about it in almost all of my videos about how uh, important it is to all of the day-to-day -day operations of my pet sitting and dog walking business. We literally use it for scheduling, invoicing, visit tracking, instant messaging, the list goes on. And I have been waiting for Time to Pet to release this integration with Zapier for ever. So I'm very excited about it. And I know there's been a lot of questions in the Pet Sitter and Dog Walker Facebook groups about how to set it up. And I have actually not set up my Zapier uh, with Time to Pet yet. So let's get into it. Before we get into the details though, please hit the subscribe button so I can continue putting out these weekly videos to help you guys succeed. And on that note, uh, the very first thing that we have to think about here is what we actually want Zapier to do. And I'm eventually going to go through and set it up to do all kinds of different things with Time to Pet. But what I'm going to show you in this video is I want to create a spreadsheet that can keep up-to-date, accurate information about the credits that clients have on their account. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Google Sheets and create a spreadsheet to keep track of this information. And then we are going to tell Zapier to connect our Time to Pet account to said spreadsheet. If you don't already have a Zapier account, of course you will have to create one. There is a free version and a paid version. I do have the version that's like $20 a month for the extra features. But I will say I did get by with the free version for a while. So just start with that, play with it, and then you can upgrade when you're ready. And you can see here that I have already created just a really basic uh, spreadsheet to keep track of this information. And then if we hop over to the Zapier tab here, we're going to make a new Zap. We are going to connect Time to Pet to Google Sheets and we are going to tell it that when there is a update on the client's account uh, we want it to create a new row on our spreadsheet. We'll click try it And then we're going to have to connect our Time to Pet account. So we'll sign in, grant access to Zapier. Hit continue. We'll test the trigger, make sure it's connected properly. And then it's going to give us some uh, recent client updates to choose from just to set up the example. Uh, I will have to put a block over the client's information in editing so that you guys don't see all of their personal information. We will uh, hit continue with the selected record. 
And then now we are going to uh, pair it with the spreadsheet. Hit continue. Okay, so we're going to say it's the spreadsheet in my Google Drive called Client Credits. And it's going to be the Credits Worksheet. And then you'll see on that spreadsheet, I had created a last name, first name, and credit on account uh, columns. So those have populated here. And when you click where it says enter text or insert data, it'll pull from that example client that it just showed us so that we can click on each bit of information and tell it what to put in, e in each column. So for this column, we will say the... Uh, parsed last name, and then we'll do parsed first name on the next column, and then credit on account, we'll scroll down, how much credit client currently has, click on that, okay, hit continue. So it'll show us a brief example here. We'll test the action. Okay, it says a spreadsheet row was sent to Google Sheets. So now let's flip back over to the Google Sheets and see if it is there. And all right, we can see that it's there. It was automatically populated. So now anytime the credit amount on a client's account is updated, it should automatically populate on this spreadsheet. So let's go back over to the Zapier tab and save this. We didn't title it, so we'll go up here and we'll say Client Credits, and then we will publish the Zap. Okay, so it is saved, it is set up. And now what we can do is we will actually go into Time to Pet. To test it, I'm just going to actually change the uh, credit amount on uh, my own account here. Okay, so now to test the Zap, we're actually going to go into our Time to Pet account and we will change the credit amount on a client's account and then we'll go check the spreadsheet. So you'll see here that I am on my own uh, account. I'm going to click on credit balance, adjust credit. I'm going to give myself a $10 credit. Mark it as a test. Save it. And then let's go check our spreadsheet. And it's there. So you can see this only took us a couple minutes to set up. And uh, now we can always go back to this spreadsheet and have an accurate representation of all of the client credits. And this is just one example. You know, I said at the beginning of the video that I have my uh, Google business profile connected to a spreadsheet for uh, reviews. I have our uh, new client onboarding form connected to MailChimp for um, our email newsletter. You could connect it to a million different things. Let's say you want uh, a postcard to be sent to new clients. You know, you could connect uh, time to Pet, uh, where you know as soon as you import a new client onto Time to Pet, you could connect it to Postable to send them a postcard, something like that. There's a million different ways that you can use this software to automate tasks within your business and save yourself time and energy. And really, that is the name of the game when you start scaling your business, is figuring out how to take as many tasks like this out off of your plate and automate them. So I hope this quick run through was useful for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. And if you are not using Time to Pet for your business, you can save 50% off of your first four months by going to timetopet.com forward slash Doug. That is my uh, referral link, and it will save you 50% off of your first four months. So uh, again, I hope this has been helpful for you, and I am Doug the Dog Guy, reminding you to stay positive.